Today on Passport Kings, we're going over my travels to Santo Domingo with my buddies. Engage. Guess who's back? Passport Kings. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. With the success of the movie Girls Trip with Latifah, Tiffany Haddish, Jada Pinkett Smith, and those other great female actors, I'm seeing a whole lot more women traveling. To be fair, I noticed that women travel more in general. It's an absolute norm. Although most husbands would prefer a wife that stays home, they would much rather prefer one that goes away to foreign lands instead of women who go to local clubs on the weekends. When it comes to dudes, I found the opposite to be true. The women in their lives would prefer they went to the local joints instead of their husbands chilling with their crew and going to another country. Either way, I think everyone should travel whenever they feel like it. Life is short. So a year ago, my wife and I went to Punta Cana. A lot of guys in the Passport Kings Facebook group called Travel Abroad added their two cents about my trip. They said things like, that's not the real DR. You went to the bougie part. You should never bring a woman to DR. And you need to go to the real areas like Santa Domingo and Sisua. And for God's sake, don't take your woman. Yeah, I've never been one to give two shits about what a dude I don't know who probably don't have a passport had to say about my whereabouts. However, I love to travel no matter where I'm going. Plus, a few buddies of mine had been to Santa Domingo a couple of times, and although they never yelled it from the rooftop about how outstanding it was, they did say it was a great place to go relax and chop it up with your friends and just boys trip it up. Scheduling conflicts kept me away a couple of times, but this time I made sure that I could go. We've all been on trips together, but we also took our women with us. Alright, so when we got there, I realized this place is not for me. I grew up in the South Bronx, so I'm not saying this to try to look down my nose at anyone. Plus, I've been to places poorer in the world, but there was no real draw. I'm getting older and making more money, so I want to experience nice, memorable things when I go on trips. But why would I want to run errands for myself when I'm on vacation, when I know I'd prefer to be catered to in the resorts? There were money thirsty women crawling the streets. My friends and I are not lonely dudes back in America, so this wasn't that impressive. And although it was great to know how women feel, to be looked at as a piece of meat, after a while, it was pretty much annoying and a turn off. I would think that like the guys who really get no play in these streets would finally have the time of their lives, and I can't hate on them for it. But let's be honest, if you want to pay for some chocha, there are plenty of places to find it in America. In fact, most marriages that dudes talk about when they brag on social media about how they're paying for everything in their household is just a more expensive form of prostitution. I've never been a John type of dude. Excluding a few, there was no real way of getting to know the locals. The locals were interested in one thing, making transactions with the tourists, us. One of the dudes I was with said it the best, these chicks make me feel sorry for them more than interested in them. And it was not only the chicks, dudes wanted to sell any and everything to you. Drugs, guns, pills. I heard one story where a dude tried to sell his kid to an American. Some dudes would love this type of environment, but I grew up in the Bronx in the crack era. I was annoyed back then too. But things were not all bad. The redeeming quality was the same reason that I went in the first place, fellowship to hang out with and catch up with my friends that I've known since elementary school. Many things in life have drove us apart over the years and it's always good when we get back together. And I mean it when I say we had a good time. This was a binding experience. We've always been cool, but experiences like this just brought us all closer. We sat around, talked, drank, laughed, smoked, and went to the local restaurants. And we met a few cool characters some from there and some tourists who moved there. Another thing was everything was super cheap. You won't be spending more than $50 a day if you don't get hustled for some unnecessary crap. The food everywhere took a long time to get prepared and you would think that that was a problem, but it just reassured us that everything was being made fresh, which was very important because a lot of the restaurants was kind of dirty looking. Plus, there was a supermarket within walking distance where you could load up on beers, water, and fresh food. If I ever went back, I would get a George Foreman grill and just buy stuff from the supermarket and sit there and cook it to eat while we all chill. There was a humongous beach party, people were snorkeling, skydiving, and it was just relaxing. But again, it wasn't the nicest beach that I've ever been to. 
The best part of this trip is I paid for all of it with profits I've been making. Becoming an independent travel agent was the best opportunity I ever jumped on. For the simple fact that I worked from home or on location, there was no experience needed, I did it part time until my residual income exceeded my work income and all the training was provided. When you become interested in having the same experience and freedom, contact me. Shouts out to D-Rail who is with us. You can catch his YouTube show called Travel Money. And yes, Yanis, who I ran into in the airport. He's also on YouTube. Will I ever go back to Santo Domingo? Probably not. I've become too particular about my accommodations. It was great hanging out with the buddies and I hope that we all do it again, but in a more lavish setting. This world has so much more to offer than the poorest part. I don't think I will go to Florida just to visit Tallahassee. I want to be in the dope parts. I'd certainly go back to Punta Cana because it was like the Miami of DR. Like I said, I didn't hate it, but I don't miss it. When you travel with your spouse or with your friends, get full experiences and do high class stuff like a king of passports. Peace.